Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to show you what's the difference between the sudo and the su command on Linux for example, I use Ubuntu so what's what's the difference, what do you, what, what, what is all you need to to do, to know about the sudo and the, and the su alright, so the key difference is that um, first, uh, the commands will allow us uh, to use another command as a super user that means the root um, user that's all so basically as a root user you can do whatever you want on the computer for example let's say if if I want to install um, a new program on on my operating system um, I, I cannot do it because my user is not is not able to do that so I need to run the command uh, as a super user uh, so I can install the, the program alright so um, so now what's the difference um, both of them allow us to run commands as a super user as a root um, but they, they do it in different ways what that means that means that if you run su the su command in your terminal uh, w I will show you how to do that but um, I just want to talk about it first if you run the su command basically you you will log in as a root user in your terminal and then you will run uh, all the commands you wanna you want you wanna you wanna you wanna make as a super user and after that you need to exceed that login that's the main difference and in sudo you will not um, log in as a super user you will r just run a, a specific line just one line as a super user as a, as a root that's the main difference so um, basically I just use sudo because I I think it's better because if you run su and you forget to exceed the the super user uh, account uh, you you can do you can do a mistake or something and and it is so dangerous so I just use sudo for example let's let's go to let's go to the terminal and let's say let's say that I want to install uh, a program a new program and the command for that will be um, in Ubuntu at least apt apt dash get install wine and it will it will make an error look at this because I don't have permission denied I don't have the permission I'm not able to do that so I, I have to run this command as a super user as a root and in this um, in this in this case I will use sudo apt dash get install wine I'm trying to install the the wine program so basically if I if I write sudo at the beginning of the the command that I want to run sudo will just run this specific command as a super user that's all just this line after that after after run this line I will come back to my login my current login so I will just type enter now it now I have to write my password but the password my user password not the root password so I type my password and that's all now it asks me if I want to continue I just type no and it was a board um, so let's say let's say that uh, all right one thing about sudo is that for example if I run the same command now sudo um, apt dash get install wine it will not ask me for my password because sudo w will remember your password for 15 minutes after 15 minutes it will ask for your password again if you don't use 
the, uh, the sudo command. So just type no again, it was aborted. And let's talk about su. Um, su works pretty different. Let's say that I want to, to use su, so I just type su to try to log in as a root user. And look at this, it will ask me for a password, but in this case, is not the, my user password, is the root password, which I don't know, and mostly of you will don't don't set up a root password. Nobody nobody used to to do it. So l l let's say I try I I try to type my password and enter, and look at this authentication failure because he, he, I don't, he, it doesn't work with my password. It, it works with the user the, with the root password. Sorry, but one one amazing thing about sudo and su is ya is that you can combine them. Combine them. What that means? That means that I can run. Look at this. I can run sudo su. So basically, putting first sudo will allow me to run su as a as a root. So so I can I can really use su if I don't know and if I don't know the the root password. It's amazing. So look at this. Now I'm in the root I'm as a root user. And if you notice when I use sudo su here, it didn't ask me for a password because sudo remember my password for fifteen minutes after using it. So now I'm as a root user, and and as I told you, it is pretty pretty dangerous if you know, don't know how to use it, because you can you can do a lot of mistakes, and and every line, every line that I'm using, I'm still in root the root user. That's that's the main difference. It is not just a line. Everything that I do is as a root, so I can I can make a lot of mistakes. Um, I I don't recommend it. But let's say let's say that I want to install a program now, a uh, wine. Let's let's say that. So I I don't need, I don't need to, I don't I'm still in the root user. I don't need to put sudo or su because I'm I'm the root user now. I'm I'm in in the in that account. So basically just type apt dash get in lin uh, in Ubuntu install wine that's all and it it doesn't require um to run as a super user because I'm the super user for the whole login now but let's just abort and basically when you want to stop using the root uh, user when you when you run the su command just type exit and as you can see, now I'm back to my user, my my user, my um, which is not the the root user. That's the main difference. So <coughs> that, that that's that's everything you need to know. Um, you can run just uh, uh, su with sudo or or just run sudo for each line. I, I, I prefer actually run sudo with each line that I want to use so I come back um, to my my current user instantly and um, that's pretty much all guys thank you for watching